Okay, classic magazine. Someone asked me to have a closer look at this one. It's popular hot rodding. When I was in high school, this was one of my favorite magazines in the 80s. They're the ones that started the Project, uh, Project X, 57 Chevy. It was in the movie Hollywood Nights. So, the yellow one. Badass car. <clears throat> okay, they asked about the Volkswagen, but apparently it says here, where is it? Top tuning secrets. Project X is in this issue. Um, I think maybe the project have been going for about a year. Not sure what year. Complete VW hop up section. Drag racing and street performance was a big deal. Muscle cars were in their full, that, this was their peak year, 1970. So we called them super cars back then, by the way, but we call them muscle cars now. But they were at their peak, but guys that just couldn't go out and buy a, or didn't want to go out and buy the same thing everyone else had were building different stuff, like the Volkswagens. They're putting together Tri-5 Chevys, hot rods that hauled ass. <clears throat> I get done with the tea bucket. I think my next, well, I've got that 55 wagon, but hmm, I don't know. I really want to build something that's quick. Maybe I'll do that with the Pontiac. Yeah, so this is July 1970, if I didn't already mention that. It's top, build a 55 to 57 Chevy supercar. So, still only 50 cents. It was a lot of coin, because when I was in high school, they were still only like two bucks. Right in the front, big. Doug's headers. It's a cartoon. Uh -huh. We got letters, ads. Ooh, tea bucket. T Roadster body, as low as $59. Frames, $89. <coughs> I'm sure that was a pretty good chunk of change, so. Oh, you can buy sandals. Schaefer flywheels. Craggers, the king of the wheels. Hot pants. Got a racing stripe on the pants. Oh my. Big Daddy's got it. Don Garlitz. Do they actually. Permanent press. Jeez. Oh, cool. Funny car. Fearless Fred. Fred Ghost. I think that's it. It's Fellow of Fame. I've seen this before. I think there was a model kit of this one. Better biting beetle binders. This break conversion. See, 1970, this break conversion. If someone says putting disc brakes on your beetle isn't old school, well, here's the kit from 1970. 
drilled to accept late Ford or Chevy wheels. So you don't have to deal with the Live 5 BS. That's kind of cool. Oh. Performance test, the mighty VW. Sprint star wheels. Big oil, twin oil coolers. That's a sure sign. Lots of empty stuff. It's an empty Mark III. 150 horsepower. That's a bit of grunt going around. I think there are about 40 cars. Lower wheels. Well, someone's got a set of them. Spiders from motor wheel. Cool. Oh. Tune up tips for your bug, your V does. Run your check to the seven eight. Forty build tips. Six pack set up. Project X gets a Detroit blocker. Cool. The lesson learned from the funny cars. All the heavy duty. Ford rear and the Detroit locker. Cool. Oh, here's a funky tip. Quick file stroke on the side of each spline allowed our old 31 spline axles to fit the Ford Detroit locker unit. Probably because this was, well, they were using aftermarket Summers Brothers axles. Hmm. Interesting. They were old axles. All right, my Pontiac axle housings. A spring purchase, so it sits in the dry five. Now you can just order a rear end, bolt right in. Ooh. My favorite drag cars of all time. Fuel alters. Oh, a blown bug. There's that's the one from the cover. It's got four and a four exhaust, which they've proven on dynos doesn't work. That means four and a one's better on a fuel. Another altered. It's an A altered. Not a double A. It's not blown. It's injected. Big block. Nice. 
Oh, Bob Hawkins Blue Blazer, another altar. I think the popularity of fuel alters spurred the popularity of tea buckets along. That, and you didn't have to run around and piece together a steel body necessarily. I have with mine, but. Oh, Junior Thompson. John Masmanians. Super Mini Bird. Opal. These cars were kind of the the end of the gasser class because really what they were a gas funny car at this point. The guys just went funny car racing instead. Run low weights, 170 miles an hour. Huh. Dial stuff of force 429. Oh, this is a neat article. Build a 55 to 57 Chevy supercar. Gotta have the headers. I got a DZ302 cross frame intake on a small block. You're talking about using a small block in this article? You say late model Corvette heads with 202 inch intake valves are the hot setup. They feature screw in studs push rod guide plates, and for street use, they need no porting and polishing. Nah, they need porting and polishing. We are fortunate in this day and age. You only get a set of aluminum heads pretty cheap. Pretty much putting the combination together for a screamer try five. Oh, interesting. Look, oh, hot Corvair parts. Nice. Sweet. I love the old ads. Nice hold, Daytona Beach, Florida. Big Daddy Rat. Man, it's just been uh, riding some of those coattails there. Doesn't look like. And Roth, it says Big Daddy Rat, so a rat's hole. Oh, superior manufacturing, allied fiberglass. They built a lot of stuff. 
Allied Industries or uh, AI. Ridge Runner deal is a Royal Flush performance equipment. Popular cycling. Oh. Love the ads. <laughs> Speed on motive. Still selling parts, speed mold. JE still around. Last I checked. Well, there's another T bucket ad. How many companies? I should go through this account. That's Bird. They're very popular, very well made. For lack of better words, kits. These kits weren't complete. They're yet still do a lot to build a car out of them. But Bird was probably one of the best because there is a very large number of bird-based tea buckets that are still on the road. They're the ones that made, seems to be the ones that made the, uh, made it to completion. A lot of times guys bought kits thinking it was gonna be easy, screw it together on a weekend deal. They find out the hard way that that wasn't the case. So, a lot of frames ended up hanging on garage walls and bodies up in garage attics. And some of that stuff is starting to surface now, but I'd say the majority of these kits that were bought never saw the street in the light of day. Old Bill Thomas bolt on the front end for. A Chevy 2. Solid mounts for your Volkswagen. Oh, Magnetos. Bronco. Judson Magneto. Suspension kit, solid axle, build your own street roaster chassis, plans, $3.99, Decalo Automotive, that was another popular kit. Yeah, they had the they had the full deal, full catalog for everything. Jermaine Associates. It seemed like everyone and their brother was either doing something for a Volkswagen, 
stem buggy type bodies and then T bodies and frames. That one don't look so complete. Universal buckets. Oops. Flexolite fans. They're still around. Probably bought up by someone, but Jill Hunt Magnetos. Chargers, tickle pink over its new lower price. Wow, well, oh, that's that. July 1970, popular hot rod. It had a bit of everything in it. No, thanks. If you like that, let me know. I'll do some more of these. Because I've got, I've got some of these. I've got some little books with customs in them. But anyway, thank you. Have a good night.